hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to talk to you about something each and every individual has experienced before something we meet and see people exhibit on a daily basis and how we can silence or deal with it this can make even the nicest people on earth do awful things yes if you've not subscribed yet please do so like this video leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think and turn on the notification button so that whenever i post a new video you will be notified so today i'm going to talk about how to silence or deal with the green eyed monster yes so this expression was coined by the legendary england's national poet william shakespeare in his tragedy of othello so in the tragedy othello overlooked iago and promoted someone else known as cassio iago was mad at othello and decided to take revenge on him as a result he plotted a false sense of jealousy in him he lied to othello that his wife desdemona is having an affair with cassio the man he promoted while he was doing this, he also portrayed himself to Othello as a loyal friend whom he can trust by saying, Oh, beware my lord of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. So by saying this, he wanted Othello to see him as a loyal friend who is warning him to beware of his emotions. Meanwhile, he was the same person stirring up Othello's jealousy to destroy the relationship between him and his wife. Othello killed his wife and in turn killed himself. So let me just say this quickly, that jealousy is a natural emotion and there's no need to be ashamed of it. But if you allow it to consume you, that is when it becomes a problem. Your ability to deal with it is what is going to make it count. If you allow it to consume you, you tend to act in a way that it will push you to. Most of the time, we use the word jealousy and envy interchangeably, but they are not the same. Jealousy is when you are worried someone is trying to take what you have. It is the way you react when you feel or you are scared of losing something or someone. And envy is when you want something someone has. You feel they don't deserve it and you really, really want it. So the word jealousy, envy and fear come from the same place. So now I'm going to talk about the signs a jealous person can portray. And yes, if you find yourself in this category, don't worry as I'll also show you how you can deal with it in order not to be consumed by the green-eyed monster. Now the first point I'm going to talk about is a jealous person is insecure. They have low self-esteem. They lack confidence. They feel incompetent and unloved. And when this happens, they lack the desire and power passion to unleash their own gifts and talents just because they are obsessed with comparing themselves with others. So in order to raise their self-worth, they set themselves on a path of distraction in a cycle of competition. The more you tend to compete with others, you fail to sit down to look within yourself for what you are actually good at and then they just get stuck at wherever they are. Now the second point I'm going to talk about is they are excellent copycats. Yes, when they look in a mirror, they don't see themselves. They see someone else. This can be flattering at first. Come on, he wants to be like me. He admires me. But trust me, it can really, really get irritating sometimes as they can go to the extent of copying your hairstyle, your dressing, your way of talking, your way of walking and everything about you. So very soon it can get really irritating. So you just have to be aware of the behavior of people who are around you. Now the next point is, a jealous person can envy your success and celebrate your setbacks. 
every time you fail they rejoice deep down in their hearts they tend to gossip about you and one thing gossipers have in common is that they are always anxious and unhappy so in order to make themselves feel superior they go around and spread rumors about you yes so whenever you fail they rejoice in their hearts cause they just don't want you to make it now the next point is they tend to ply you with insincere compliments they do that sneaky thing of acting overly supportive overly praising you and trust me you will know that this is so so fake they want to act supportive in your face but deep down in their hearts or behind you they are so so jealous of you now the next point i'm going to talk about is they are very very competitive now if you have a competitive spirit it has its advantages as it can help improve upon yourself in any area you find yourself but this person wants to outdo you in every possible way they want to steal the glory they think you don't deserve it if it's at the workplace they want to go any lengths to exceed the efforts you make so such people are so so jealous of you they want all the attention and trust me you are just going to know now i'm going to talk about how to actually deal with jealousy how to deal with the green eyed monster now you need to find different areas to shine come on we are all unique we've all got our gifts and talents look within yourself find something you are good at something you could learn and shine at those areas you don't necessarily have to do exactly what someone is doing you don't have to be exactly like somebody just find something else and shine at those areas now learn to celebrate instead of compete when when somebody succeeds you need to genuinely celebrate with those people instead of compete with them because if you try to compete you are not focusing on yourself you are focusing more on that person because you want to outdo that person maybe there's something even better you have within you okay so when you try to compete with somebody you are always you know focusing on them and trying to do exactly what they are doing and even more number three if you see a characteristic or a success you like in someone strive to admire them rather than envy them so use their success story as a way to set a goal for yourself to develop yourself to improve upon yourself you know people who have succeeded have got stories we can learn from and do even better so you can use their success story as a yardstick and set a goal for yourself that i want to do this i want to even do better now give praise when praise is due you don't have to act overly supportive and fake you know fake some things you need to give praise when praise is due you need to be real now i hope you learned something from today's video thank you very much for staying throughout this video i must say that we love you so so much subscribe to this channel and you're going to receive more notifications on more videos on how to make your life better see you again next time